What's up everyone, Regitech here. I hope you're all doing well and thanks for tuning into the channel. So today I'm super excited because we're going to be unboxing the Bose 700 series soundbar and bass module. Now why am I excited for this? Well, it's been something that I've wanted to do for such a long time now. I've wanted to add a nice set of speakers to my home theater system or what I consider to be a home theater system. Now, you know, the sound that you get from TVs is okay, but you don't really get to grasp the 3D immersiveness of the sound, or you don't really get to enjoy that sound quality without, without raising the volume extremely loud and it's still not all that great. It's like going from your cell phone speakers to a really nice pair of headphones. It's the difference of night and day. Now the reason I went with Bose is because, well, they were running a promotional sale as well as because with the Bose system, I don't have to have one of those AV receivers in place to use the speakers. And it's just an easier setup. Eventually, I do want to go that way and I want to build an insane surround sound system with some amazing speakers. And once that happens, I will definitely share that with you all. Uh, but for now, we're going to be doing the Bose 700 series, which has amazing sound and I'm very excited to start using it. So what do you say we go ahead and get started with this unboxing so we can get it out, we can test it, and we'll see how everything works. So here it is everyone, this is the Bose Soundbar 700 and the Bose Bass Module 700. And I apologize in advance if any of the angles or are bad or if you can't see anything uh, or see something, I'm sorry for that. It's, uh, it's just a little difficult filming something this big. It's my first ever time doing, uh, you know, filming something this big. So just bear with me on that but I'll try to show you guys everything about the boxes and then we'll get right into it. So here on the front cover of the Bose Soundbar 700, we have a nice big image of part of that soundbar and you can also see the speaker grill right there. Looking at the base module, you could see a nice little image of it right here at the bottom. It doesn't show you the full thing, just like the soundbar, but up at the top of the boxes, it does show you a nice image of how the whole thing looks. The sound bar as well, you can see that right there. Now coming to the back of the box for the sound bar, you can get a lot of information about it. It does give you a description of what's in the box as well as what to expect. So it says sound bar delivers exceptional sound for movies and music, Alexa built in where available. Elegantly crafted metal and tempered glass top, stream music through Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth device. Advanced Universal Remote is included. They do have a personalized app for this. It has the HDMI ARC connector, which supports CEC. It is expandable with the optional Bose base module, which I did get, and the Bose surround sound speakers. Uh, then if we get to the back of the Bose base module, it gives us some information about it as well here. So it says the wireless bass module delivers thunderous low notes for movies and music. It connects wirelessly for easier placement. Bose technology allows deep, clean bass in a compact form. Elegant design and tempered glass top. Works with the Soundbar 700 and the Soundbar 500 as well as the Soundbar 300. And that's pretty much everything about the box. I mean, there's not much going on besides the image and the explanation. So let's go ahead and start getting this opened up. Alrighty, and as we take off the top flap here, the first thing we see is some styrofoam and that styrofoam is what's protecting that sound bar right now. So let's get all that styrofoam out. And then we get the sound bar itself. And the sound bar does have quite some weight to it, but let's put this aside for now and we'll check out what else comes inside the box. So we get some more styrofoam packaging here. And then there's another compartment down at the bottom. If we open that up, well, actually, I think we could take the whole thing out. So that'll be a little easier. Let's take this entire thing out. So that's just the center of it. So what I see here is we get some batteries, four double A's. We get a power cable, 
we get a uh, usage kind of thing on how to use the Alexa function of this speaker. I do like the fact that it is built in with Alexa because that's what I use here in the house. And it'll be much better having this there than the way that I have it set up right now, which is basically an Echo Dot hooked up to a set of computer speakers. Next up, it looks like we have the remote. Let's get this tape off. And the remote, the remote actually looks really nice. <laughs> I'm a little blown away by how it looks. It looks really, really good. It has a nice matte, uh, soft matte finish up at the top for nice grip. It looks like everything is just an embedded button. So there's no actual, you know, like pop out buttons there. It's just you touch it and it will start working. And uh, I assume that once this has batteries in it, everything will light up. Next up, we get some documentation over here. Don't really need to take a look at that. Uh, we do get a microfiber cloth here that has the Bose logo on it. That's pretty cool. Next up, we do have that optical audio cable, which is going to be very useful. We have a HDMI cable over here. And then we have the, uh, the sound headphones. So this is how well, from what I read online, this is how you're going to adjust and customize the sound settings for the speaker in your environment. So that's, uh, that's going to be pretty cool to check out. Let's see if we get anything else in here. Uh, nothing else in this box. Let's put that to the side. I did see two more. Actually, that's everything that comes inside of that box. Let's just move all this stuff off this base module box and we'll get that opened up as well. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and cut this seal. Lift the tab. Alright, it gives us some cardboard up at the top. We get some documentation right here in the, the base module 700. We can put that aside. And then it tells you to use two hands with these uh, little uh, lifting portions over here that they put in the cardboard. So let's go ahead and get this out. Alright, we'll put that down. And let's see what else we get inside this box before we open that up. So inside the box we see some more documentation over there, and then we get the power cable. Alrighty, so let's get into this base module. Alright, so it gives you some instructions over here on how to lift this out of the containing box. So let's see how this works. Looks like we're just supposed to pull this up. All right, and then the other flaps just fall down if I didn't have anything else around. But uh, then we can just take this off. All right, put that to the side. We get a nice piece of styrofoam with the Bose logo on it. That's a nice touch. And then we have the base module itself and you know something there's so much packaging in here I thought that it was actually going to be bigger but it's not actually that big at all the first thing I can see is that beautiful tempered glass top and wow that just that that looks amazing I really do like that touch that they put on there so let me go ahead and get this out of its packaging and I'll also get the sound bar out of its packaging and we'll take a look at it then Hello everyone, and now you're joining me on my living room floor. So I set these speakers up yesterday and I just wanted to try them out before giving my review about them. So I used them all night, I listened to music, I played movies, I was watching TV, and the sound is just insane coming from these speakers. Uh, talk about clarity, the bass is insane. And, you know, the smart home systems that you use with this, it makes it extremely easy because then you don't have to have a separate device. Everything's built into one speaker. And I really do like that. 
Prior to this, I was using the LabTech speakers, and with the LabTech speakers, it the sound is great with those. But the problem is, it's all wires, and you have to connect uh, to an Alexa device if you're going to be using one with an aux cable. So that's not an issue, but the thing is, I couldn't really connect it to my TV unless I used Bluetooth. And uh, with that, as I said before, you know, you'd have to get up and change the volume manually from the speakers and things like that. So it made it a little difficult. But with this, it's just such a seamless experience. Um, so to start off with the setup for this device, it was extremely simple. And in the instructions, there is literally just three instructions. You just place the sound bar, you plug it in, and then you download the app. And it's as simple as that. Now, when you download the app, it's a really, really intuitive process. Downloading the app, you download it from either the Play Store or the App Store, depending on what device you have. And when you download it, all you have to do is then just uh, open it up and you select what device you want to set up and it starts the setup process. It finds the device easy, it found the soundbar super simple and super easy and it just installed updates and after that it gave you some tips and tricks and gave you a run through on how to use everything. Uh, during the setup of the device it did allow me to set up the base module which was very nice. Uh, you also get to do the adapt IQ and I hope I, yes I did say that right. The Adapt IQ, so with this headset that they give you, you're able to walk around with this. It has a super long cord. And uh, you're able to walk around this in the area that you have your speaker in. And with that, you can, you know, fine tune the sound settings so that it matches your surrounding area. And I found that a really, really cool experience. It played a bunch of different tones, some melodies, and some, uh, well, a ton of bass, actually. I felt the floor shaking, literally. And uh, it was just a really cool experience doing that to fine tune the sound. And let me say, that really does work. Uh, when I first plugged in the speaker, I didn't expect to do anything. I did see the notification light come on that it has power, it was blinking amber. And out of nowhere, I wasn't even expecting it, it made a loud sound. And trust me, I wish I had a video of this because it was hilarious. It actually made me jump. I was startled by it. And then I just smiled. It was like, whoa, this sound is insane. So getting more into the setup, once you set up the uh, Adapt IQ and you go around and you do all that stuff, it allows you to set up the remote control. So this is probably one of the best universal remote controls I've ever used. It was so easy. And when I say easy, it was effortless to sync this remote with your television or even a set-top box from your cable company. And trust me, doing those things with even a set-top box remote, it requires a lot of work. You have to punch in codes and all that stuff. So with the remote, it automatically sent codes to either your TV, your set-top box, or whatever else you want to set up. So it was so simple. I mean, it, it was just push a button and it worked. And it works for everything. I can go through all my TV settings with it. My favorite part about this remote is when you lift it up, all the buttons illuminate. And I find that really, really cool. So what was the first thing that I did when I uh, finally got through the setup process for this? Uh, well, I went on Disney Plus and uh, I was looking for Avengers Endgame or something to play, something that I know has some insane sound and uh, a lot of booms and explosions and things like that. And uh, I actually, saw Iron Man 3. That was one of my favorite movies of the time and uh, I played it throughout the entire movie uh, and I didn't even have the speakers extremely loud. I felt the floor shake with this bass module. It is insane the amount of bass that it produces. I mean even the bass from the soundbar itself is super good. I mean it's, it's just phenomenal. But uh, one thing that I did have an issue with and uh, it, it really did annoy me was that I heard an echo whenever someone spoke. I looked in the settings for uh, the Bose speaker and let me just pull that up. Give me one second. I forgot what the exact term was called. 
So if you open up that Bose app and you go to the audio section, uh, it does give you, you know, the dialogue mode. It tells you some, you know, fine tuning you can do with the speakers and the bass module and things like that. Uh, so dialogue mode is used uh, to adjust the tone balances when people speak or you're watching a movie and things like that and you want to hear the voices more clearly. I turned this on and it made things so much better. You can you can hear, you know, the gravity in everyone's voice, which is amazing. But uh, it didn't help with the echoing issue. Uh, it, you know, I watched the entire movie. It was okay. The echoing kind of did annoy me. And uh, after that, I started watching another movie. I looked up why it was echoing. And the first thing that I saw was that you have to make sure that your TV or whatever device you're using, the uh, the volume is set to low or all the way to zero. Uh, that was something that I didn't do because I thought that if you connect this through the audio optical port that it would automatically just use this as the speaker and I did later notice that when I was using the smart home devices that it doesn't actually do that. So the reason I was having the echoing issue was because the speakers from the TV were still playing. So if you guys are having that issue uh, just know that that's why. That's the reason why it's happening. It's just because both speakers are playing at the same time and it's just at different either heights or at different different you know distances apart and that's why the sound is coming in as an echo. Uh, but that was easily solved. I went ahead and just lowered the volume of the TV all the way to zero and that was it. Now when I use the smart home function of this speaker, I use the Amazon Alexa uh, as my smart home system and uh, it works great does everything I needed to do. And with this speaker, it just makes it more seamless. Uh, and it actually works better with controlling my TV now. Prior to using this, I was using the Echo Dot, and for some reason, it would be able to turn the TV on uh, sometimes, but not all the time. And it would, uh, it would also have issues with you know, opening applications or doing that kind of thing. And with the soundbar, I don't know what the difference is, you know, but it actually improved on that. And I don't have that issue anymore. I can tell it to open up, uh, to turn the TV on, it'll turn the TV on. I can tell it to switch the input. It'll switch the input, which I find is amazing. It also uh, does open up some applications now when I'm using the Fire Stick and stuff. So I find that a huge improvement and uh, it's nice not to have to use a remote control sometimes. On that note, if you do choose to talk to your smart home assistant, it will lower the volume that's coming from the TV and it will uh, you know, do whatever command you request. If you do request it to play music, your TV's volume doesn't play in the background. And I haven't been able yet to try to make it automatically get that TV's volume signal back automatically after playing a song or anything like that. Uh, I, it's easy to do with the remote control. All you have to do is click what you want to play the sound through. You can uh, click just the TV button there and it automatically switches it back to TV. You can click Bluetooth to connect your Bluetooth devices, which I find is very easy instead of having to go through all the runarounds of looking on your device for Bluetooth and accepting it on the smart home system and all that stuff. Uh, it also does have a set top box option here. And with that set top box option, you're able to turn on your set top box from this universal remote. And you're also able to change channels, view the guide, and everything works exactly like how it would with your set top box standard remote. And I find that really good. I mean, this is probably the most robust uh, universal remote that I've ever personally used. I've used Logitech in the past and this was a long time ago so it may just be a really old model and it didn't have all these features. But it wasn't as simple as this, you know, you have to type in the codes with the remote and you gotta look through the whole booklet and find whatever code matches your device. And then sometimes it still doesn't even work. I remember I couldn't even get it to work with a set top box. It was just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, it's typing the wrong code or something, but there's a lot of codes to type and it just wasn't working. Um, but with the app that Bose has, it's very, very easy to get this set up with any device. I haven't tried setting it up with any of my game systems yet. I do, maybe, maybe I will plan on setting it up, I don't know, just to give it a try, but I don't really see the point of it. I mean, with smart TVs, all you have to do is just press the power button on your game system remote and it automatically switches to whatever input was just turned on. Well, at least that is in my case. I don't know, you know what it is with other TVs or anything like that, but that's how it is with my Samsung TV. Uh, so that makes it very easy. But, you know, overall, I really, really like this Bose 
sound system, I, uh, I, was, I was truly blown away. I mean, my wife came home and she, the first thing she said was, why does it sound like a movie theater in here? She knew that I had the speakers, I hadn't opened them up yet, they were sitting for a couple of days, but when she walked in and she said that, I was like, oh yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? it? The sound quality is just amazing. Aesthetically speaking, my favorite part of the look of these speakers is probably how that tempered glass ties everything together. I mean, on the sound bar itself, you can see this beautiful silver grill and it just wraps around the entire device. But then you have this uh, frosted tempered glass on the top and you are able to get this in two different colors, either in white or in black. I chose the white one because I thought it would go more with my furniture and the whole color design of how everything looks. But with that frosted white tempered glass on the top, it, I, I don't know what it is, but it just, it just seamlessly brings everything together. And uh, the same thing with the base module. It has the same tempered glass frosted top as the sound bar. And uh, the bottom of it actually, I thought it was pl uh, fabric at first when I first took it out, but it's not. It's actually like a plastic housing. I don't know what kind of plastic it is. It feels very strong and it also kind of has a soft touch to it. Um, on the bottom of it, it is. Uh, it does have that silicone rubbery surface so that it doesn't slide around and I guess that that's how it's also really driving that uh, ground shaking base. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I really, really like these speakers. I have no issues with them. I do want to play a track in all my other speaker videos. I do play, well, for the most part, I think I play the same exact track. And uh, with these speakers, I want to do the same thing. Now, what I hope is that my mic can record that sound to its true beauty, as well as uh, be able to get that to you guys so you guys can hear the sound quality that this speaker can produce. So uh, let's go ahead and get that playing and yeah, you guys are going to be amazed because every time I turn these speakers on, it's just like, I don't know, some kind of happiness lights up. It's kind of like opening up a gift on Christmas when you're a kid and you get exactly what you want or you get something you didn't even expect that you wanted but is like the most amazing thing ever. Um, so let's go ahead and get that playing uh, and I'll get, I'll stop talking. <laughs> oh yeah, and one more thing before I uh, get that track playing. Uh, to connect to Bluetooth, it's super simple. You can either do it through the remote or you can do it through the Bose application. So if you do it through the Bose application, you're just going to want to click on the little sound bar circle and it'll say source. You can choose Bluetooth and then you can select where you want the audio source to come from, either Bluetooth or your TV. So if you select Bluetooth and you click new device, if you haven't connected any devices yet, it'll make this sound. And once that sound plays, then you know that it's ready to be paired. And once pair, and once you click on the device, it'll ask you uh, for the Bluetooth pairing request. You'll click OK, and then it'll give you that sound to let you know that it's paired up. So let's get that track started. I'll get it out of the way because this is a little loud on uh, my ear being right in front of it.
that was the first time that I listened to that track on this speaker and uh, just wow. Uh, saw me pop into that video there for a quick second. I was amazed at how this speaker sounded. Uh, it really gets your, your, your blood pumping and your heart racing. It's like when you go to one of those EDM festivals or something like that. It, it's, it's, you, it feels like you're there, you're live with all that stuff happening. Uh, this bass module, holy moly, uh, it was literally shaking the floor. I felt the vibrations as my feet were on the floor and wow. Uh, I don't know what else I can say. I'm pretty speechless about how this speaker sounds. Um, it is, to this date, the most expensive speaker I have ever purchased. And uh, with that being said, I'm not disappointed at all. It was well worth it. And you know something? I, uh, I really do see myself getting a lot more speakers to test uh, for this channel. If you guys have watched my channel in the past, you'll see that I've done a bunch of speaker reviews and stuff like that. I really, really love, you know, speakers and I love sound and I love things that sound good. Uh, so, you know, maybe look forward to more of these kind of things in the future uh, when those things come around. Uh, but for now, I'm just speechless. I hope you guys were able to hear how amazing this speaker sounds. Uh, I, I really do enjoy it and uh, can't wait to use it some more, especially with movies and things like that. Oh man, it just gives you that immersive sound. It sounds like you're in a theater, you know, as in, in you know, quoting the words of my wife. It sounds like I'm in a theater right now. And that's not even with surround sound. It's just with the sound bar and the bass module. So I can't even imagine how it would sound if I put up some surround sound with it. Those extra uh, Bose surround sound speakers that they have. Uh, so. I don't know, maybe I'll look into getting those, but in an, at another time. Uh, overall, if you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was a long one. I haven't even edited it yet, but uh, I don't know how much video I've recorded so far, but I know it was a long one. Thank you guys for sticking around and listening to it. It was an experience. I have never unboxed something this big in front of the camera before. So, uh, you know, while I go and edit stuff, I will learn from it how to make these kind of big unboxings um, a much better experience for everyone, as well as make it easier on myself a little bit. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still shocked and blown away. But uh, overall, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you like this content and you want to see more content like this, Consider subscribing to my channel and, you know, I will be producing a lot more stuff like this. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell up above as well so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you guys have any questions or comments at all, go ahead and drop them down in that comment section below. If you guys want to check these speakers out, I will be leaving links to them uh, from directly from Bose as well as from some other sites that I can find them on that you can purchase them uh, down in that description box. So definitely check it out. Overall, I am extremely happy with this purchase. I hope you all stay well, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you all next time.